Hello there, everybody. It's me, Waddles, and welcome back to Obsidian Mining, the series. Uh, uh, oh, wait. Uh, this is the Minecraft Guide. Welcome back to the Minecraft Guide, the series, episode 34. Uh, in this episode, that... Uh, uh, well, hmm... Um, I won't say it that way. Uh, we're, we're just getting Obsidian for the big project today. But, you know, I, I've been doing some thinking, and it's time for me to clap back. Um, because of you guys, I'm well aware that... Uh, a rectangle is not the strongest shape. The strongest shape is a triangle. So for that reason, I will be demolishing the whole grand library and building it as a triangle without any windows. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, but anyways, in seriousness, welcome back to the Minecraft Guide, episode 34. Last episode was about more end prep, and today is the biggest hunt of probably the whole world. We are setting out to look for the stronghold. So we'll go over a checklist of things you should have. And hopefully if we find the stronghold soon enough, we'll explore it a little bit. That could be fun. And then maybe dragon fight next episode. But a uh, new version over in the top left. I decided to not stack my armor up anymore. I got this crazy good set of leggings. And yeah, I, I just feel unfair. Like um, waiting versions or waiting to update, you know. Um, so... We're updated, and uh, the armor is, it, it is what it is. But the end, what should you take to go hunt for the stronghold in your world? Well, uh, you should definitely grab some Eye of Enders, which are crafted like this. Uh, so 14, that should hopefully be enough. We'll take the extra blaze rod and ender pearls in case. Maybe some obsidian in case you want to make a portal to come back home. I'm planning on doing that. Hopefully the pigmen aren't aggroed anymore. I hope this update fixed that. Uh, you should definitely take a bed. Always take a bed when you go anywhere far. Maybe a map if you want. Um, and then your general survival tools and food. Pretty much your basics. But the big thing is the obsidian and the eye of enders. Okay, so, 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 so. The eye of ender, how do you use it? Well, uh, first you're definitely going to want to climb up to a high spot. So... For me, um, on top of these trees should be perfectly fine. After you're up high enough, um, then grab your eye of ender and throw it. Then you, you need to look around and see which way it goes. The eye of ender is going to hover up uh, towards the stronghold in the air and then drop and fall to the ground. Eventually, your eye of ender will unfortunately break. It, there's nothing that you can really do to prevent it. It'll just happen over time. So that's why you want... Uh, a good amount. Now make sure you keep note of which direction your eye of ender flew because that's the way you need to go. So for us the eye of ender flew out this way towards the ocean and that means we should go out towards the ocean. I recommend going uh, 150 to 250 blocks before you throw another eye of ender because yeah they break you, you could lose them. If you're throwing them every 20 blocks up into the air then you're really just not being efficient with things. Um, I think somewhere like here is probably fine, uh, so we'll throw it again. We watch it, it goes over, and that means I still need to go in this direction. And of course, we want to pick up that Eye of Ender, um, because we, we really don't have a bunch. If you're really unlucky, you'll need 12 Eyes of Ender to turn on the Stronghold Portal. And hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, that's not us, but you never know. So you want to have an excess of these things. Once you enter the end and fight the dragon and beat the dragon, getting under pearls is really not a problem. But until then, um, it can be a bit of a problem. And doing this job is potentially a time-consuming job, but it shouldn't be all that time-consuming. There should be more than one stronghold in your world if it is a vanilla, like, plain old world. And based on wherever you start throwing your eyes of ender, they will go towards whichever stronghold is closest. Now, close could still be 2,000 blocks away, but with patience, enough food, maybe some maps, uh, that really shouldn't be all that bad. Now, we're heading into pretty much uncharted territory. We came by here in the, the shipwreck episode, but we didn't actually land, and I think we need to land, so um, let's go up here a little bit. Uh, we're off the map, so I might as well just pull that out. Uh, I didn't think to bring more map-making supplies because... I honestly have no clue as to how far I'll have to go. I might have to go really, really far, and it's almost pointless to make another map, or it, it might be right under this lake, which would be crazy cool. 
Uh, but no matter what you do, I definitely recommend being out in the open when you throw your ender pearls rather than under trees. If you are under a tree, you can see less area and you, you won't be able to tell where the eye of ender is going. Um, but that's interesting, actually. So the ender pearl went back this way, which means we actually passed the stronghold already, which is insane. We haven't even hit 10 minutes of the video. <laughs> uh, so let's go back over this way a little bit and we'll throw another eye of ender when your pearls are going backwards you'll definitely want to throw them more often so you can pinpoint wherever the stronghold is uh, so let's say maybe here which way do we go uh over there okay aha uh -huh. mm -hmm. um let's try it again maybe uh over here um did it go aha uh -huh. where'd it go uh oh did it go right down no it broke I heard it. I, I think it's on the ground. Hmm. Where did you go? Oh, there you are. There you are. Okay, so uh, maybe we keep going this way. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. A pearl broke, but it flew back over to this spot right here. So we have 13. Let's try one more. And what happens? Okay. Uh, it broke again. I think we might have the spot right here. This. Oh, hey, hey, a blue mushroom. <laughs> uh, what are you trading today, sir? Um, nothing good. I'm kind of looking for some jungle saplings, but I think this might mean we have our stronghold right here. Now, sometimes when you throw an eye of ender, it will go right towards the ground. If it does that, that means you are at the stronghold. Um, our pearls are kind of just hovering back near this big tree and then breaking, so... I don't really want to, to try it again. I'm going to, to take a gamble here and say our stronghold is down here below the ground. Strongholds will spawn deeper in your world, but not crazy deep. They shouldn't be all the way down at like Y12. They should be more like Y40, Y30. Uh, so whenever you think you found your stronghold, you'll want to start creating a spiral staircase going down right under wherever your eyes of ender were going. If you start hearing mobs, that's a good sign. That means there's a cave. Um, and if you see any stone bricks or silverfish, <gasps> like that, <laughs> that's an even better sign because that means you just found yourself uh, your very first, or maybe not your first, but your stronghold. Here we are. Uh, so what I say we do is we pull up the weapon, the good old slicer, and jump down and take out the mobs. Uh, there's no mobs. Anticlimactic. Um... <laughs> so we definitely need to make a way out of this thing. We'll just do a, a plain old staircase. Um, be very careful. Uh, did that just insta-break? No, it didn't. Insta mine. Insta-break, same thing. Um, but be careful mining the blocks and the strongholds because silverfish live here. Silverfish are a new mob. We haven't talked about them yet. They are basically... Oh my gosh. Um, they come from that spawner in there. Um, that's, that's the... That's the prize room, guys. <laughs> we just went down into the pri I don't know. I uh, I mean, in anyone else's series, I've never seen something like this. This is pretty crazy. Okay, so uh, silverfish are little fish creatures. They burrow into stone, stone brick. Um, they spawn in mountain biomes and in strongholds. This is the end portal here. There's lava below it, and then there's these little portal blocks. We need to place Eyes of Ender in all of these portal blocks for the portal to turn on. If you take a look at our portal, we have two eyes in it already, which means we only need, what, 10 more? Which is really, really nice, because we definitely have that stuff. Now, I always recommend setting up some sort of survival base in this room outside of the portal, because if you die in the dragon fight, you'll you'll probably want your spawn set um so we'll leave the bed there maybe we're pretty close to home so i honestly don't think we need to make a, a portal uh, at all like i'm pretty impressed with this so this room will be our end little checkpoint i think um oh i don't have i don't have cobble uh that's okay so to sum up everything silverfish bad portal room good that's the big thing that you're looking for but i think think we can go ahead and explore the rest of the stronghold and talk about some of the other loot. 
Uh, so this is a library room. I definitely want to keep these cobwebs. I would love to decorate with these things. And in library rooms, there should be a few loot chests. Um, I think they usually sit up on bookshelves, and it'll probably be easier to find them from up here. Uh, so there's one over there, and then there should... Yep, there's one right over here as well. These should always be in pretty much the same spot. That loot is really not impressive, though. Uh, we will take it, um, and we'll... Uh, nah, we'll, we'll leave the chest. We're going to light the whole stronghold up because I'd like to maybe make a base here sometime, uh, or at some point, so we'll just light everything up, but that's a bummer. <laughs> Hopefully we get some better loot over here, um, fingers crossed. Uh, oh, silverfish, uh, careful. Uh, okay, aqua affinity, that's, that's not bad. Lots of paper, some books, a compass, okay, um... Well, I think we're good with the library, so let's do this. We'll go back to our main room and I think make a double chest for all of our loot. And while I'm over here, I think, unfortunately, I need an iron pickaxe. I left all of my coal back at home. So if I find any coal, I'm out of luck. And I have no clue why those silverfish aren't spawning, but I, I'm not even going to question it. I'm, I'm going to go with it. Um, so... Uh, where should we go? Let's go this way. Now, these things are big mazes, so be very careful when exploring these things. I definitely recommend lighting up the areas that you have explored so you know what you have seen. Uh, another loot chest. What do we got? Okay, ender pearls. Nice. I didn't really need those. Uh, now, let's see. Let's go this way. I hear a skeleton now. Somewhere. I hear water, too. We might have a cave system right over here, too. It seems that that happens a lot, so maybe that's the case. I don't know, but... Uh, I need to be careful with my torches. I'm going to run out if I go too crazy. Unless we can find a cave and we can find um, some coal. Uh, so what do we have over here? Have we gone this way? No, no, we have not. That's a dead end, all right. Um, then this is another path uh, going... Uh, oh, hmm, what do we have? Another dead end. <laughs> how cool uh-huh uh-huh now let's go back over here and go down so as you can tell here um from what you're seeing these things are giant mazes oh there's the skeleton this is the first mob that we've seen though in this whole thing which is pretty crazy um but yeah as you can tell these are giant mazes so we're, we're keeping that on us oh i don't have up to find anymore that's right i updated the world aha uh -huh. so that's a bummer um well uh, there's nothing down here, so I might as well just just keep the torch with me and go back this way and go up here. We'll, we'll just have to remember. I've, I've been down there, and there's nothing there. We'll take some of these torches, though, off the wall. That is um, a little unnecessary in terms of the placement, so uh, thank you very much, whoever built the stronghold. Aha. I don't remember what that does. Is that a secret? Uh, or is there like a door here? Aha, that's interesting. Very, very cool. A secret room. Um, oh, a creeper. Uh, we won't fight it up close. We'll just do this. That's probably the better way to... Oh, another one. Okay. Um, no creeper accidents in this, please. Uh-uh. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Um, the world lag seems to be gone in 1.13, which is... Or one point. Yep. Mm hmm. The world lag seems to be gone, which is good. Uh, what do we? Oh, we have a. Oh, and a falling creeper. Okay. Um, but this is good. This is good because we can maybe uh, find some coal. So, let's do this. We'll dig this way, and I am going to look for some coal. Oh no! World lag. Oh, it's not gone. It's not good, guys. <laughs> um, I'm gonna have to, like, uh, figure something out for that dragon fight, because, uh, may maybe the render distance. Maybe I can lower the render distance, and I'll get less of those random freezings. Oh, that makes me really nervous. But I am finding coal, which is good. I got down onto the floor of the ravine, um, and, and nothing bad has happened yet. There's lots of coal here. I don't know if I need it all. I just want more torches, so I can light up that whole stronghold, uh, while we explore it, you know? Um, so it's nice and safe, uh, because... I, I mean, a safe stronghold is a good stronghold. Uh, well, that's that's promising. That's a, that's del that's delightful. It's a nice sound. Uh huh. Oh wow. Um, <laughs> our stronghold seems to cut through the ravine. We'll have to see if we can find that. Uh, that's really interesting. Uh huh. 
Okay, a stack of torches. Hopefully that's good for now. Let's go back to exploring this giant maze. Uh, what do we have? So that way, oh, there's another one. Okay, um, mm-hmm. Uh, mobs aren't that smart here. <laughs> uh, no offense, mobs. I'm sorry. I had to do it to you, but nothing there. So this probably goes to the ravine, right? Um, oh, 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 okay, 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 okay. Uh huh. Yep. Uh, we're gonna move away. I saw some nice loot in there, and oh no. Oh, great. Mm, okay, one explosion. That's not bad. Um, what did it open up? Um, hmm. <laughs> um, we're gonna carry on uh, okay and iron helmet guys this is not a good example of the loot the loot is sometimes better than this um, this is this is pretty pretty sad loot um, just just know this it's not always this bad uh, a dead end though a dead end okay that's fine hey oh 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 no um Haha, <laughs> that feels, um, staged, or, or rigged, um, I, uh, I'll just hide here, and, and eat, uh, <laughs> okay, um, well, there are the mobs, I found all of the mobs, um, okay, um, uh, um, okay, uh, let's do this, let's go over here, take a shortcut over to, um, this this the, the loot chest uh oh wow there's a lot here there's there's a lot here oh wow um that's a fast skeleton too um how do we do this uh we'll push you out of here and we'll go this way mm hmm okay so where's the loot hmm where was that loot chest was it up there i hear an enderman hmm Mm-hmm. There you are. Uh, golden apple. That's pretty good. That's cool. That's good loot for once. Um, but moving on. Moving back into the stronghold here. Okay, so that circles back around uh, to this room. So if I go that way, it goes right to the ravine. Uh, that's pretty easy to remember. Let's go ahead and drop off our loot and go the final way. In terms of loot, we're not getting anything too cool, but that's okay. The golden apple's kind of nice. Maybe we'll take that with us. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, that's the stronghold. Um, I, I think there's more this way probably to explore, uh, but I think that's good for now. I, I think we're good. No, it's totally your call. You, you rip the silverfish spawner out of this thing or you don't. I, I'm going to leave it. I'm not really having any issues with it. I got knock on wood right now, but uh, yeah, we'll, we'll leave that there. Now, coordinates, we definitely need to write those down. Um, so we'll screenshot those and I think it's time to sleep and probably head back over to the base for the day. Um, we'll just take a gamble and say um, it's daytime. Uh, we'll test our luck because I'd like to leave the bed there so I don't forget it. Uh, but there's definitely one more thing that we should do once we get up on the surface, and that is mark the staircase so we don't need to use any sort of like eye of Ender or anything to find this thing again. This is crazy lucky. Like, let me say that. Like, uh, to get here, it, it's just a short boat ride, which is so, so cool. Um, in fact, I'll, I'll get this all nice and bright. So from the ocean, if we're coming over here at nighttime, uh, we'll be able to see it really, really well. Um, is that really? No, that's that's the shipwreck, but I can't believe that. That is, that's crazy. Um, I lost the marker already, but. <laughs> that's pretty crazy it's i i thought we would have to go way further than that um but hey i'm not complaining but with that being said if you are looking for your stronghold just copy that whole ender pearl process that i explained over and over again until your pearls start changing direction go backwards and eventually your pearls will hover over one spot staircase downwards or just dig straight down and hopefully you have yourself the stronghold it's actually a pretty simple process. So, 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 comment of the day time. Today's comment of the day is from Drake B. Uh, the comment was, Waddles, when are you going to make your real house instead of a wagon? And you guys, uh, and, and Drake's not the only one to have asked that one, but you guys, I don't know what you mean. Like, this is a pretty cozy house. Like, I don't know. Got the, the half a double barrel of, of dirt here and... Um, just, just warm fabrics and the campfire, the bed, so I don't know what you mean. <laughs> I think this is a real house. Um, 
I beg to differ. Um, mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, but in seriousness, I, I, I probably should build a house sometime soon, shouldn't I? Um, I, I kind of have a, a big habit of just building towns and calling the whole town my, my house. So, uh, yeah, thank you for kind of reminding me about that. And maybe we'll do that soon after the dragon. I definitely want to to finish up the library, I think, before we start talking about exploring the end and everything. Um, so, so I don't know. Maybe we'll do the library, and then we could do, like, a house. The house wouldn't need to be big. It could be, like, a small, simple little house. Maybe even by the skeleton farm. That might be a good way to, to mark that hill, because with the end over that way, now I really love the idea of a lighthouse over out down there. I think that would be really cool to make, like, a an end-themed lighthouse, maybe? I, I, I don't know. Something like that. Uh, to match the end city, I don't know, um, but yeah, so, uh, house, I, I don't know, <laughs> maybe soon, but, uh, that is episode 34 of the Minecraft Guide series, I hope you liked this one, if you did, remember, drop a like and subscribe, always, those things help me out, and, um, if you love what I do, or you want these episodes early, uh, check out my Patreon, let's plan on the dragon really soon, um, maybe next episode, and uh, have a good one. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.